This is the High School Crossfire. Welcome back. Okay, Chaya, the question we as the team affirmatives needed to answer in today's debate was the question of why the government is so responsible and we proved to you beyond reasonable doubt that it is the government that is responsible for, for the too much cut, cut consumption in the northwestern region. Now, what do we tell about you in today's debate? We tell about you a number of crash points which were majorly to one role of the government and two people's choice. Those are the major two crash points and I will come to them later. Now, Pano, I will first show you what we bring to them in today's debate. You see, we, we first, my first speaker does the good contextualization and shows them the districts we are majorly basing into. That was her role. Then she also shows you that it is the government's mandate through the social contract theory to cater for all the for all its citizens. And then we are to ask, has it done it or it has not? That is what we need to prove to you in today's debate that it has not done it. Why? We've showed you that there are very many mistakes in those regions. One, where we have the cross border, where we have the cross the crossing of the borders by the citizens in and outside of the country, and that is due to the government's little scrutinizing of those districts. Two, we also showed you that there is insecurity at the borders, as it, as it was reported by the Major General of Brigade 409 PR. in Northern Uganda. Now, still, three, we show you that there is the burning of, there was the burning of tobacco industries following the and tobacco law. And what brought that was just because of the poor government of the poor government, and then that is the one we shall sorry blame. Now, the team negatives come and present to yeah, us I... their counter argument, like, yeah, no, it has been the people's choice, but then, but no, we are not, we are saying, even if it were, even if there were other factors, like the people's choice, but the major factor is the government being unserious, and that's why we feel like it is so irresponsible, and it should be the one to be blamed for this. Now, Pano, we also gave you scenarios in Yume District and Arua District, where the government has failed to, where the, the, some governments in those districts have tried to, to, to stop the cut consumption, but the government has not given them enough backup, and that is enough evidence to show to you that the government has already failed its all. Now, Pano, I will first come and show you what we debate on the major crash points in today's debate. You see, we crash on the point of the role of the government, and then what do we talk about it? We show them that, yes, it is the role of the government, and it has failed through the social contract theory because it is its role to protect its citizens in a good state. Then the repulsive duty, since it's, it's, it's duty to make sure that those people are well and they are not okay. So who should we blame? Should we blame the citizens that are not okay? Okay, the citizens have done their role. What role have they done? They have voted the government and put into power. So it is still, it is now up to the government to make sure that the citizens are in good conditions. Now, the biggest question we pose to the team negatives is, is the government responsible for the poorest borders? If they can come and answer that, I think they deserve to win today's debate. Yeah, it is the one that is responsible and has it done it or no, it has not done it. So where should we blame, should we blame the citizens? Now, they come up with the argument that, that the people enter the borders, people enter borders, with cargo vehicles, then who should we blame? Should we blame the citizens that have brought the cargo vehicles or we should blame the, the poor government that has not scrutinized those that has not gone ahead to look at what they are carrying in the, in the, in the vehicles? So I think that the team negatives do not, do not know who to sorry blame in today's debate and therefore we shall teach them that they should blame the government because it is its role. Now, they also come and show us that the government has done its role. What role has it done? That is what they need to prove to us in today's debate. What role has it done? It has done its role. Which one? They just say that and leave it as a far as they don't give us evidence. Now, Pano, on the, on the crash of personal chase, they also tell us that cut has been used as the... Why? It has also been used as medicine. Why? Because the government has not provided enough medicine and has not provided enough for those districts and therefore we should blame the government, not anyone. So that's why we feel like it is so irresponsible because it is the one that has caused all this trouble in those districts. Now, Pano, they tell us that it has created media's platforms like the PDM, but then haven't we had corruption scandals recently, had corruption scandals with Arua ministers embezzling the money for the PDM. So who should we blame they are? Should we credit the government because it has created these these medias and prevent and stop and not going ahead to scrutinize them. So I think that is a question they need to understand in today's debate for them to claim for a win. I rest my case. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So to start off from where he actually left, he said that the government has not provided enough medicine, therefore people are consuming cat as a medicine. 
But these people, actually, I have to pose a question. Is medicine really medicine if it's served in the wrong proportions? Does it cure the disease or it kills the person? Because as we know, according to research, it's only 0.6 grams of cut leaves per kilogram of body weight that are supposed to be consumed for medicinal purposes. So you are just telling a, a common person, just take an entire leaf. It means they are taking an overdose. And as from people of the National Drug Authority, as they have always come out to say, these taking... The, taking the wrong prescription just means that you're poisoning yourself. So instead, they are just thinking that the people should keep taking Qatar's medicine instead of curing the diseases that are meant to be cured, they are just killing themselves. So they came here and tell us that the role of a citizen is to vote the, is vote the government. So as long as they have voted the government, their role is done. But then they fail to realize that the, the role of the, of the citizen is more than just voting the government, is to actually help the government uh, get its roles. We just believe that the, the, the citizen just does not vote the government and stops there. They also work to see that the, the government they voted in power works. So you are not just going to vote the government and just stop there, which means if they at all put up laws to protect you, you're going to actually comply and you're actually going to help them understand, you're actually going to help them enforce these laws. So they come here and tell us several things. And their first a farmer says that their first a farmer says that the people that the people have retaliated, that they have set laws and then they have retaliated, which means that the government has put in laws and then the people have retaliated. What does that indicate? It means that the government has done its job because later in their speeches, they tell us that the government has not put in any laws to actually strengthen this restriction against cut. And then after their first, a farmer also says that the people have retaliated from the government's regulations, which means that they are contradicting with each other. One person says that they put up laws another one says they have not put up laws so if you're going to compare the world a compare a world of the government where they actually just blame the government because they feel that they feel it's solely responsible and compare a world where we feel the government is not solely responsible and then there are other factors like ignorance like truck drivers like poverty and like personal choice and now our world you will see that poverty for example as stated by my other speakers it greatly influences this because according to Daily Monitor of Friday, May 20, 20, 2022, it sheds a light on drug dealing in Uganda. Andrew Bagala alone tells us about what drug dealing, what transpires in drug dealing and how people actually lad into drug dealing because of small sums of money. Now, when, when they came here and say that the government has not provided employment, I would like to actually educate everyone in this room that the government has done so much. The government has put on parish development models. The government has actually put on things like NADS. All these things are just to put up, are just put up for people to actually get jobs. We have seen them providing coffee plants. All these things are supposed to put up jobs. So now my question remains to the government side. Do they want the government to inject money in their pocket? Is that what they want? Because the government has just done its job. So you actually see that our world has more light and theirs has darkness. Come to think about it. They already come and support our point by saying that the people have retaliated and that's all that we were talking about, personal choice. It actually means that a person even though you put something, he will actually choose to do the other. That's why you, people, you find people inventing new methods of now maybe putting the cut in biscuits or maybe cut in pudding so that actually they are not cold. That shows you that it's a personal choice of a person. That means it's influencing the cut consumption in northwestern Uganda more than the government itself. The government is training so hard by putting up rules, by putting up regulations, by actually trying to help its people. But what do the people do? The people just keep going away. So our world stands to be better and therefore we win today's debate. Thank you so much. This is the High School Crossfire. We'll be back in a minute.